a PE teacher when I was in primary. They were wanting to kind of give me head starts and run races, which I was well up for, but <laughs> my mum kicked off about it massively, saying, like, no, I should be doing the same thing as everyone else. Um, and it's it's been good because it's allowed me to experience things and not not be wrapped in cotton wool and just kind of live a normal life and not let it prevent you do, from doing anything. I'm Finn Graham and I'm a paracyclist. Not even Daddy's done this. Oh. Pretty steep pushing it up. That could be a problem. <laughs> what could be a problem? Can you not fit your head? When we were younger, living where we lived, it made it so easy to get into cycling. Um, and the fact that our parents were riders as well. Um, we'd be going the local riding, local mountain bike trails at Glentrex. We'd be there most weekends, me and my brother from a young age, just enjoying ourselves. Around when I was about seven or something, that's when I did my first race. I think for my first win, it felt like I wasn't expecting it at all, like on the mountain bike, but after the first win, it like it felt so good crossing the line first. I enjoy racing, like I enjoy the adrenaline side of things, challenging yourself against other riders, like seeing how well you can do and obviously it's different races, they'll have different competitions, some harder than others in snow, mud, ice, just cold weather and falling asleep on the bike is not a nice place to be. Coming around finishing laps, your parents picking you up from the side, putting you back on your bike and telling you to carry on and you'll thank us later for it and stuff but <laughs> in the moment it's not not a fun place to be but looking back at it again it's an enjoyable race all right ready set go I'm scared. just go I'm i was born with bilateral talpies which is i've no calf muscle in either of my legs um very limited movement in my ankles like i've got a little bit in my left but my right's just see uh, fused so i'm not able to move it at all on my right leg I wear a splint which supports my ankles and it just allows me to walk much easier than how I would without it. <laughs> oh dear. Originally I had left school, I would not, not kind of done that well in exams or whatever. I spent a few months travelling but then when I came back home I just we started looking into the paracycling side of things, got in touch with British Cycling, and then from there it's kicked off. Manchester, they've done a lot of orthotics for British cycling riders um, and again it was much needed because I was getting ones from NHS and it was doing well but the pressures and stresses I'm putting under now it wasn't really coping with it like it was snapping a lot and I was having to use duct tape and super glue and stuff to keep it together but yeah now I've got a purpose built carbon fibre one for racing. I was doing a race at the beginning of September and I just didn't really feel right at all. Like my back was hurting from the start, um, and I thought I was just like coming down with something. Went out for another ride, but just hadn't recovered at all, and joints were kind of aching. And we didn't really know what it was at that point. But on 18th birthday, I collapsed on the bathroom floor, which was nice, and spent a week in hospital. And when you say you spent a week in your hos uh, hospital after your 18th, a lot of people think it's just a hard night, <laughs> but. <laughs> diagnosed with lupus which is your immune system not being able to distinguish what's good and what's bad in your body so I think I lost about 10 kilos not sure whether I was going to kind of race again or whatever so it was pretty tough but thankfully got on the bike. Tokyo's getting really close now so it's just try to show that you're medal competitive trying to do the best performances you can yeah the games in Tokyo are definitely the big goal Everyone wants to be there, want to represent their country and just kind of perform on the biggest stage. There's still a lot of time until the game, so anything can happen. Like I could become ill again, but I'm just going to keep doing what I've been doing and hopefully, again, when the time comes for selection, hopefully I'm in a good place to kind of put my name forward for selection. Like it's weird 
still to be able to say that I ride my bike for a living and because I didn't do very well in school I've not really got anything to, to fall back on so and it's been great being involved in such a great great team and coaches and stuff being able to push me to you know what I need to do to make that step up on the podium and yeah looking forward to the next track season already. Bye. Bye.